I'm Earl Marshall, president of Marshall Machinery. Our headquarters are based out of Honesdale, Pennsylvania. Uh, we've been in the business for over 60 years, uh, second generation. Our primary vendor is Kubota. We also work with Link Belt, Belco, Moorbark, Land Pride, amongst many other vendors. For us, you know, the, the biggie is data. What data we're pulling in and what data we're using. So, so that's 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 really been a biggie for us is is how to utilize it. You know, you know, huge amounts of data that we we get from uh, Iron Solutions out of the system, EDA resources that, that we're pulling from, and just tying that together and, and making quality decisions or or sending a direction with it. So when we get that right, it's just like oh my goodness. So we, we you know it's hard to believe you know some of the stuff we're able to put together. We really you know predictive. You get predictive about. Uh, what's going to happen with, you know, when a customer might uh, be looking to be in the market again. So it's really cool stuff that we've been able to pull off. We have a program we call uh, fourth quarter buyers. And, and, and so uh, it's, it's just so easy to predict uh, who your fourth quarter buyers are and, and, and how, they're, how they're going to behave. And, and we actively work on getting out in front of that with managing uh, the customers, getting quotes in front of them at the right time to be the first guy in on the conversation. So it's, it's, off the charts, helpful. One of the things we look at, and we actually track it in, in, in our, our uh, marketing analytics in, in HQ, is, is we're watching um, loyalty. And, and we'll track, um, you know, how loyal we think an account is. So we'll call them an A, B, or C account. And then uh, we, we have types of loyalty. Are they brand loyalty? Or is it brand loyalty, dealer loyalty? Or, or is it uh, uh, salesperson loyalty? So, so we can we can see some of the stuff that's happening there. So it's it's not a real surprise if if your B or C guy switched brand because you didn't you had an availability issue. Say, so, well, yeah, that 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 fits with the profile that we're seeing on that customer. So um, it, we actually track it in, in HQ. In that in that realm, you know, um, you know, our our conversation with the sales guys becomes okay. How do you move up the hierarchy from from you know selling a product to to having that quality relationship? And what does it look like for the customer? So knowing who uh, we are and and how we fit into their picture. So that's that's the stuff we work on. HQ is just a tremendous tool for communicating uh, within the dealership. Salespeople. Uh, you know, if you if you give them a choice, they're going to want to take a notepad and keep all their notes on a notepad. And, and to just you, you can't scale a business uh, when, when people are operating like that. So that, that was that was, you know, a big part of our foundation of being able to grow as a dealership. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, it just changes how we do business. So um, some of the stuff that we're looking at is is we have this vision that uh, that HQ could be the dealership CRM. And how, how do you how do you get there and make that happen? Because because you know some of the other departments don't have the tie-ins, so you know that, that we, we we see that opportunity, but we're, we're scratching our heads at how to really implement it. Uh, I think the next place for us is is we have a really strong rental business. Is that's just an obvious place for us to um, um, adopt uh, and integrate HQ CRM work, uh, and potentially even for the quoting per, uh, options. So uh, we, we see that as a, as a really good opportunity. Once once a sales guy is proficient with HQ, they can they can uh, build and duplicate and and arrange quotes in a heartbeat. So so that part of it is is cake, and, and HQ changes the game on how that happens for us. You know, customer wants four quotes, the salesman isn't rolling his eyes. It's going to take him just moments longer to to modify three quotes. So it's you know our our goal is to you know on a on a monthly basis put out some quality content via that channel. The click-through rate is terrific. It's not uncommon for us to be above 30%. And, and then we do, we, we see quality responses out of it too. A lot of times we'll see it in uh, store traffic too. So it's happening. So one of the things we know about uh, software imp implementation, at least for, for us, is that when you're doing any, with any of these technological uh, programs, you just have to have champions uh, within the dealership. So we always identify and, and, and make sure we have champions when we integrate something like this. And so, yes, we will actually sit down and, and do a workshop. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've sat with Kirk uh, virtually, of course, and uh, had a workshop on how to clean up a process or add, add some fields or make some uh, user defined. So we have a, a clean sales process that we walk in with and, and can just train on immediately. 
and, and it, it works really nice. So uh, we, we make sure that everybody within the, the group has uh, great visibility so, so they can see what's going on. We've been using the quote data export functionality for, for years now. And, and so um, it's, it's tremendous. So, so we, have, uh, we have the uh, hooks set up of what fields we need to fill in in a quote uh, in, in the, the, sub, the uh, subsequent uh, record fields for the customer. And it auto populates uh, everything we need uh, for our DBS. And, and so uh, we, we uh, go right down to, uh, you know, uh, some of our states that we deal with have sales tax by county. And we, we auto fill that stuff and, and uh, have a, a full record of, of uh, five or six forms that uh, uh, automatically fire off to all the appropriate departments, whether it's trucking, dispatch, or, or service department, or, or uh, uh, F&I. So we, we, we have a, you know, it works really well for us to, to, to pull that data right out. When, when it comes to the pricing, it's easy to look at, at a, a quote or an invoice and get sticker shop. And the same thing happens to our customers. Uh, what you really have to look at is what is the time worth and, 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 and the payback. And, and you know, creating the quality process.